Hi, my name's Sam Whaley, I'm from the British Zane team and I'm RS7 world champion and uh, here today I'm going to give you some five top tips for the aero. So uh, in the aero the rudder's very big and it's very light uh, on the helm which is great and uh, awesome to sail with but it's very easy to oversteer so my top tip for the rudder is really to make sure your steering is accurate and meaningful and you're, so you're not doing big movements but you're doing really small movements uh, to help it over the waves. Tip two is pillar extension. So the tiller extension on aero is critical, I find, um, mainly because it's quite long as it normally is, so you have to push it quite far over to actually get through the tap. So if you have a shorter extension or if you play around with the length of it, you can really find the optimum balance so you don't slow down during the tap and you can cross easier um, without having to oversteer through the tap. Tip three is tuning your controls. So uh, the key thing I find uh, on the aero uh, controls wise is really to ensure that your controls are accurate and able to come off easily at the window mark. And so one way I do this is I have a nice elastic system tied to the top of the outhaul here and the top of the downhaul here. And it means basically I can adjust these controls and that when I release them, they instantly pop off and allow the sail to set to its new shape. So there's no problems around the window mark with their being stuck and the controls aren't coming off. So the great thing about the system is when you've done sailing for the day you can literally just unclip it like this and uh, leave it in your boat and when you go sailing the next day you just re-clip it back on ready to sail. Tip four is main sheet. So the main sheet on aero is quite critical. Um, you really want to have a fine balance between uh, having enough feel in the light winds and uh, in the windy weather having enough to grip onto. Um, so a main sheet such as this one here needs to be able to flow through the blocks easily, which as you can see it does. Um, but then in the windy weather you want to be able to grab it. So make sure, I'd say this is the, a thick heavy wind main sheet um, and I went slightly thick, thinner on the main sheet for the lighter wind. Tip five is halyard. So the halyard on aero is quite key. Uh, obviously you're pulling up the sail and um, when you get to the top, you'll pull up as hard as possible. I don't always attach the downhaul give it a hard pull as hard as I can and then release it fully and then get grab the halyard again and pull it up that final inch because uh, I find that without this the, the sail falls down the mast by one or two inches which makes a big difference on the water so really make sure your sail is at the very top of your mast. 